everybody, it's me, Sissy, and today I have something a little different for you. I'm going to do a thrifted flip. Um, some items I got at the thrift store. We're going to use some Dollar Tree florals. Um, we're going to do three different techniques on some little treasures that I found. We're going to start with this big hunk of vase right here. Um, it's beautiful orange color. And it kind of goes with my living room, but I want to change it up just a little bit. So we're going to try something on it. And you might have seen this in my last Dollar Tree haul. I got this at Goodwill for a couple of dollars. We're going to do some decoupage on here and put some florals in it. And this um, I found at the Goodwill. I paid $1.99 for it. So we're going to um, put a little decal on it from Dollar Tree and put some Dollar Tree florals in it. And then I have this treasure to teacup here. Um, this belonged to my grandma. She used to have a little cabinet, a little shelf in her bedroom that had different teacups on it. And uh, this is one that I got to keep. Unfortunately, um, I did drop it and break it one day, So, but it's glued back. But I thought I would put a little floral arrangement in it. And, uh, use it for display so stay tuned and we'll jump okay, right into the first crafts. one we're going to do this big orange vase and i have this uh, luau fishing net from the dollar tree and we're going to i'm going to try to use it on this vase so we're going to see how it works um, the only problem is it's a little too light a color for me so what i'm going to do is i'm going to soak this in a um solution of craft paint and a little bit of water um, and see if I can get it to be a darker color. So, me just okay, the camera so and we'll get started. Cup. And I just have some old Craft Smart, Craft Smart, yeah, this is from Michaels, I think, Craft Paint. Um, it's kind of dried up a little bit, but I'm going to try to use it. I just want to stain this rope just a little bit darker. So, I'm just going to add a little bit of paint. And then we'll add a little bit of water and mix it up. Okay, we're just going to mix that up. Okay, set that to the side for a second. And we're going to look at our net. And I want it to go from, I'm just going to take it. I tied a knot in the end of it. And I'm going to put it right in the center. And I'm going to cut part of it off. I'm probably going to, it's probably about two feet. So we're going to cut that off. Take my scissors. Cut it off. Save that for another craft. And I'm going to, let me find a glove. Get paint all over my hands. We have our paint all mixed up. We've cut our rope off, and now we're just going to put it down in there. We just want to make this a little bit darker, so I'm just going to stir it around in the paint. We're just going to let that sit in the paint for a few minutes and then we'll take it and wring it out, um, get some of the extra liquid out of it, and then let it dry. And set it out and let it dry. And if it's not, you know, if it's not the dark enough color you want, you can um, just always put it back in the paint. A lot of paint. Okay. Alright, so we're just going to set this aside. Right, okay, so dry. we've got our net, and it's just about dry. It's still a little wet, but I'm impatient, so we're going to go ahead and open it up. jar in the center. And then we're going to pull the net up around it. Alright, 
we'll cut that out where we want it. Then I'm going to take some twine. And we're going to tie it around the neck of the jar. We're not going to tie it super tight. We're going to tie it kind of loose to start with. So then we can pull our knit. We have our net secured. We're just going to take our glue gun and put a little drop of glue just to make sure that our net doesn't go anywhere. Our net off. from the Dollar Tree and we're just going to cover up the edges of our twine um, of our net where we um where we cut it so I'm going to glue that I'm just going to glue the end going to glue our nautical rope around the top of our vase. Kind of tucked it up under there. Okay, and now we're going to take care of this bump on the bottom where we tied the knot. We're just going to turn our vase over. And we're just going to glue all the way around so that we can cut that knot off. It was hardened so we can cut this knot out. Now for this vase, I don't have Dollar Tree flowers. I have some um, flowers I got at Walmart. So we're going to stick those in there. Some wooden flowers um, and some eucalyptus that I got at Walmart. So I'm going to kind of arrange these in there.
Okay, so I'm going to stick that in my living room by my TV, and I'll get it in place and show you all how it looks. Okay, so that's an arrangement in the corner by my TV, so I think that one turned out good. So, let's head on to number two. I'm going to do this cute little watering can, and I, I was going to cut something out with my Cricut and put on here, but then I remembered I had this pretty Love Never Fails, um, Love is Patient, Love is Kind, and all that, and I decided that I would... It would look good on here now there's not enough room no matter how i try to put it on here but i can put this one quote at the bottom love never fails so i am going to carefully cut this out and all i'm doing is trying to not get the word above it Just cut it out and we're going to and I've cleaned this good I cleaned it with some rubbing alcohol alcohol to get um, any kind of residue or fingerprints or oil off of it so then we're just going to stick this to the can there we have love never fails and I'm just going to make a little floral arrangement in here one we're just going to cut a block of foam and hot glue it to the bottom of our can and then I just have an assortment of um, Dollar Tree flowers. I got a lot of pinks and some whites. Um, and then you can easily change this out when it's, you know, gets closer to fall, which I know some people are already de decorating for fall, but I can't do that when it's 100 degrees. I just, <laughs> pumpkins and pumpkin spice stuff is not appealing to me right now. So, I'm just seeing if, I guess these are. This might be a little bit too tall. I'm going to cut off just a little. Now you can cut your flowers all apart and put them in one by one. Or you can just put the stems in. I just want these to kind of go down just a little bit. So now I have a light and airy little bouquet to carry me through the rest of the summer. Okay, there I have that uh, flower arrangement on the shelf in my Okay, room. this cute little um, flower pot, we're going to decoupage on the front of this. I found this page out of a Dollar Tree calendar and we're going to cut it out to fit this. So first thing I did was I got a piece of um, cardstock and kind of fitted it around the um, shape of my canister or my little teapot here and I cut out a pattern. So I just kind of folded it to it and traced it and cut it and then cut it till I got it to fit. So we're just going to take this 
and center it over our design. I'll bring the camera over so y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay, see, so yeah, it says have courage and be kind. So I'm going to fit it over it and then I'm going to tape it down with some painter's tape and then we'll cut it out and get it decoupaged. And I just have some Mod Podge. And I'm going to fit it on here first to make sure it fits. See if I need to trim anything. I'm going to trim this bottom just a little bit. That's good enough. We're gonna hodge podge this on here. Got it on there. I just have some saran wrap. We'll just let that dry. Okay, so our little kettle or watering can has dried and I am still not mastered this decoupage thing because I do have a wrinkle in it, but it's not too bad. It's fine. You can't see it. I can't see it, but Anyway, we're just going to stick some florals in here. Um, this, I don't think you're going to need any foam or anything in here. And I'm just going to put an assortment of white flowers. Um, I have this spike aspic. And all these came from Dollar Tree. Spike aspic. Um, some larkspur. And these are peonies. I love peonies. My mom loved peonies. I um did a memorial wreath with peonies in it for her. Yeah, so, and this is some matuita. I don't know how you say that, but and this has some spikes missing. So I'm just gonna 
I probably use those in another project, so I'm just going to clip those off. Okay, I think it would just be as simple as just sticking these down in here. Just um, kind of bend them to the front a little bit. Oops, escaped. Dollar Tree has great flowers. Um, every now and then you'll find one or two on a branch that needs a little adjustment or spreading out or, you know, just a little work on it. But that'll sit up. That'll be fine. Okay, so we're going to do that one. And we're going to kind of fan this one out and stick it in the back. Okay, we are going to cut that one off a little bit. Put that one in first. Put this one to the back. Now if you, oop, I lost a flower. Let's put it back on. Are y'all like me when I, when I buy flowers? I go through and anything that's missing, I find it and I fix it because I'm paying for the flower. I want the whole flower. Um, if you'll look at these stems, you'll notice there's one that's shorter than the rest of them. So I'm just going to take that one. And you know I like to have something bending down, so I'm just going to bend that one down. This other one, and we'll stick it in the other side. I think that looks kind of cute, so we're going to hang that up. I'm not quite sure where this is going to live yet, but we're going to hang it up in the kitchen for the moment. Okay, there we have it hanging up in the kitchen. I think it's kind of cute. I might need to arrange those flowers a little bit more. Um, but it looks so I've cute. I've got my flowers in here, kind of ball shaped, so I'm just going to add some little accent pieces in. Little sprigles sticking out. Something like this would be really cute if, you know, we ever get to have baby showers and bridal showers again safely. Um, you could put one at each little place setting and um, it could be a carry home gift. Get the um, cups at Goodwill or yard sales or something like that. And now I may put, I might put one or two pieces of this in there. And I'm just taking it off the stem and kind of nestling it in the um, flowers.
there we have our little teacup arrangement. To finish it off, you can just take the little, um, the bigger leaves that you cut off and a little hot glue and just kind of stick those in to uh, finish off your edge. There you go. There goes our little teacup. And okay, and this is I put the little teacup in my bedroom um, on my bedside table, and I think it looks so cute there. Well, that's it, y'all. That's my uh, floral arranging for the day. I'm not very good at it, but I enjoy flowers, and uh, I love putting them in a vase, and I think they're pretty, so that's all that really matters. So get out there and get some flowers. Buy some fresh flowers. Grow some flowers. Get some flowers from Dollar Tree. Um, flowers always make me happy. So y'all have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, remember, Sissy can do it. Y'all can do it, too. Bye.